Hey everyone, what's up? Uh, these are called glute bridges. Really good for um, the glutes, <laughs> hence the name. Make sure you take all the junk out of your pockets. Um, so, you're gonna grab, and you don't have to use weights, but there's such a strong muscle, I think it's better if you can put a couple weights on your hips. Although I'm gonna show you another variation, doing them one leg at a time. But uh, all you have to do is simply squeeze your glutes. So basically squeeze your butt. <laughs> and that squeezing is going to lift your butt off the ground. You don't just wanna push into the floor with your feet because that uses more of your quad muscles. We're trying to train our glutes in the butt. So just squeeze your butt. And then if you want, you can push in a little bit at the end so that you can kind of get up a little higher and back down. So squeeze, up, down. Uh, so, like I said, I like to put some weights on the hips just to add extra weight. Or to add a lot of extra weight, you just do them one leg at a time. And you don't have to stick this foot up. You can just pick this foot up off the floor so it's not touching. Or you can even add weights and one leg at a time. So usually for strength, you know, maybe uh, 8 to 12 uh, for more endurance and toning, maybe 12 to 15 each side. That's it. And why is it important to train your glutes? Because as we get older, um, we don't use them as much. Like when we're going up steps and, and you know just standing up doing squats, we tend to put all the stress and just use our thighs. And that puts more strain on the knees. So strengthening the glutes in the back is that other muscle that helps us stand up and go upstairs. So not as much stress goes on the knee. All right, all right, train the butt.